Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokulover, and let's continue playing as Africa. No, we are not playing as Africa, we are playing still as the Union of Britain, but I uh, have made some serious border gore from the last episode. And, obviously, I'll show you Africa first, since I pretty much divided everything up. Pretty much everyone in Africa is part of the British Communist Alternative. Uh, that being said, I guess the Democratic Republic, Kenya... Or Tanz Tanz Tanzania, huh? Mozambique, Angola, South Africa, Zimbabwe. Just a lot of great places are not part of our alliance, but that's okay. That's totally totally fine with me. It's just, oh man, just going to show you this. The Europe, there's a lot of border gore, so hold your stomach in. There it is. All right, so it's not that bad yet, but wait until you see this. All right, so I got to explain myself here. Yes, I have actually taken a lot of territory from each of the major nations whilst giving most of the smaller nations their full territories. Now, if you look, Ireland has all of its territories now, which is, in my opinion, a good thing. I've given all the territories to the former Netherlands, now they're led by Gerard Vos, as well as Belgium, led by Joseph Jacquemotte. Uh, we have no full state of Norway. A full state of Sweden, as well as a full state of Finland, the Red Finns. That being said, let's go from west to east. So, Republican Spain. Republican Spain at one time was communist. They weren't the quite the right type of communist. They were more anarcho-communist, but our British communism obviously is better. So that's why I have decided to give them some rule, some self-rule under Jose Diaz, while also making sure that the former parts of Spain that were more nationalist or fascist have remained under me for now. Now, like with the Netherlands, like with the Irish or Ireland, I will gradually give all of these former states back to their respective places. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't further reduce Spain by giving them Catalonia or dividing up Galicia. So, this is the best I could do. Also, I have Gibraltar because no one has claims on it except for me for now. But we'll change that eventually. Uh, same idea with France. Now, they, the French, much like Republican Spain, were communists. A type of communist. But they weren't Spanish communists, not anarcho communists They were more Stalinist. Now, th that obviously wouldn't go with us. Oh, wait. Staunch Stalinist. They are not Soviets. Not the Soviet Union communists. No, we cannot have that. But we have influenced the French commune to be more or less mirror us for our true egalitarian communist beliefs. Now, don't don't talk to me about being having them as puppets. No, 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 no. That's just for, t you know, time being. I need them as uh, puppets under me so that someday I can liberate them and then we can all be equals together. Anyways, no, this is not a remnant of the Hundred Years' War. No, I didn't take a bunch of French shores to do that. No, no, no. If it was, I would have taken Bordeaux, regardless. Um, I've already explained the Netherlands is back. The I wish I could have split Belgium up even more and have the F Flemish up here and then the Walloons down here. I think that's right. That would be pretty cool if I could do that, but that's not in this game, not in vanilla. Uh, Elsass Lorraine will be interesting to talk about later on. And, you know what, since we'll talk about it here, uh, Denmark is here, and they have a very nice flag under uh, Axel Larsen. Uh, let's get, get time going on, first of all. And as well as the Socialist Republic of Germany, which is under Wilhelm Piak, but they're exiled, which I'm not really sure why. Now you may be wondering, why didn't you? Why did you do that, Mr. Mocha Lover? What? Wait, improve national. Wait, what the heck? What are they doing? Improve daily political power gain. Remove bitter loser. Must control London, Paris, and the states they reside in. Wow, they can create their own faction. They better not. Actually, I didn't know you could take this without being not fascist. Huh? I thought you had to be fascist to take that. That's actually really cool. Anyways, so this is my plan. Just like with the Finns, the Red Finns, of course. I need a couple buffer states here against the Soviets. Because, you know, I don't want my own ter territory attacked again. You know, the Union of Britain. So, the Germans, they were very strong. Even when we took a lot of the territory, they were very strong. So, I want to make sure that we don't completely destroy Germany. Now, obviously, right now, their land is mostly taken by me. They still have a lot of their core territory, including Prussia. But, 
this is a puppet state for me as a me defense mechanism against the Soviets. I could say the same thing about Poland. I wanted to release Poland, but this is actually my territory because the Poles are still alive, technically. They are in Mitomor's faction. They're fighting the Soviets right now, so that's why I couldn't give this to Poland. Uh, same thing with Czechoslovakia, kind of. Czechoslovakia. Why is it not the like Soviet Republic of Czechs or Czech Soviet Republic or something like that and Slovakia? Well, that's mostly because there is no Slovakia. Um, in this mod so far, go right, ba Democrat Bastion. Uh, let's see, can they actually split up? No, they cannot. Cool. Uh, they don't have any claims. Slovakia has no claims, so that's why I unfortunately had to release Czechoslovakia. However, I did give Austria uh, Stutthorol just because that would take away some power from Italy, as well as give, you know, them a little bit more power in Austria. Uh, the Italian Union is the same deal. They were fascist like the Germans, but I don't want them completely weakened to the point where they can't do anything. Over time, I will give them more of Rome back, as well as southern Italy. But Rome is the seat of a very tyrannical leader, if you know, who's called the Pope. Very tyrannical, and I've just probably been uh, hit with this, you know, demonetization button from YouTube by, by saying that. But Rome is the center of the faith of many Catholics. And if we destroy that, we can further get to our ultimate goal of pure equality amongst everyone else. Now with the Balkans, the rest of the Balkans, okay, so I had to give Romania to the Soviets. I know I'm taking a while to do this, but we are not going to go to war with the Soviets just yet. So, the Roman the Soviets took Romania, and of course they took Bessarabia. Oh, do we actually have spare things? We actually do have a couple spare things. Awesome. Uh, I need more chromium crap. What do we do about this? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So, oh, wait, I have Repairs? Huh. Oh, I told everyone to repair because they were sucking on my oil too much. Anyways, so they get, Soviets got Romania, but they did obviously have claims on Bessarabia, as well as Bukovina, so I let them have that. Hungary, uh, I d because of the problems here, and feel like you could do this a little bit more easily, Transylvania is a massive source of contention between these two. So I just decided to split it pretty much in half, so Romania got... You know, most of Transylvania while Hungary kept North Transylvania. That does empower the Hungarians quite a bit, especially with the Voj of Vodina. And that's why I gave them that. And, but I did not give Hungary too much power. That's why I gave the Serbians West Banant so that there's more of a power uh, balance in the Balkans while still making sure that we, if we need to go to war with the Romanians and Soviets, we'll be okay. Obviously, we have Slovenia. They do have Trieste. Croatia, see here, they have Zara. Bosnia-Herzegovina, Montenegro, Albania, Macedonia. Which, I think, recently kind of changed its official name. Like, Northern Macedonia or Northern Greece or something? I can't remember. Bulgaria's here, of course. Socialist Republic of Bulgaria, led by Georgi Dimitrov. And, of course, the Greeks. And, of course, we do have Malta. Uh, Cyprus, actually. Ah, oh, they have no claims of... Uh, of Crete. That's Crete. They don't want to be independent yet. Uh, Cyprus is here, of course. It's not divided in half just yet. And we have a 1944 hull destroyer. Awesome! Alright, now let's actually get to playing maybe a little bit as I just speed through all of my talking. Ooh, yes, please. Alright, anything else here? Because so far, our goal right now... Oh, actually. We already have really good reliability. Uh, I want them to go faster and fly farther. More agility. Less. Uh, that's a little bit too less reliability. Lower that each by one. That'll be okay. Since we do get plus 20% reliability, I believe. But you know what? Let's make it maybe a little bit more reliable. Mm, weaponry, would that help? No. Ah, we'll make it extremely reliable. Way too reliable. Good enough. Oh, I do have my coffee here, so it's really tasty. Uh, screw that down to plus five. We need to repair a lot of these things. Uh, but that's okay, we will get a lot of repairs taken care of soon enough. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing okay. Let's definitely get some chromium. I don't want to go to the Turks. Uh, let's start with Macedonia, mostly because this way we, they can be liberated maybe a little bit faster, as well as India. Ah, yes, Swedes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Argentina. Soviet state of Norway has a couple they could trade me. Very nice, very nice. I was going to attack Palestine just because our faction could use it as a bridge to get over to the to the Levant, but that takes quite a while. And I figured, you know what, we might as well try to add them to our faction. That might be beneficial for us. 
And honestly, at this point, we are getting ready for a war with the Calm in turn. Because they're still fighting the Metamors, which is actually doing pretty freaking well. Oh crap, I forgot about this. Uh, Japan declared did that. Um, you know what? I totally forgot about this. This wasn't here earlier. Wait. I have control of... I have control of this, but it was German. Uh... Can I give this to Cambodia? I don't have you as subjects. I'm going to Luxembourg as well, I suppose. Uh, speed up a, l a little. Maybe not a little bit yet, because we have three dockyards, I guess. Sub hulls. Well, we what really want to do is make more heavy ships. Oh, we have. Oh, we do have better destroyers. That's right. Now ah, we get keep it going for now. Better sub torpedoes. We're doing that already. Anti sub. Oh, we have level four depth charges. Yes, please. Um. Uh, yeah. Better engines, yes please. Sonar is still good. Anti-air is standard. Light batteries are standard. And then, well, we already have two. Depth charges are very good. Torpedo attack is very good. And I only use you really for subs. So let's do that. Awesome. Let's do that. Come down here. You get down here. And then, I think we have them set to Greater London Area. Oh, you need to be Greater London area as well. Yeah. So we will definitely need to change that up. Actually, since we have some spare time, destroyers, make yourself a little better. Definitely give yourself this. You can use that. Good. Uh, the cancel non-aggression pact. Whatever. Really, our last goal now is the Soviet Union. I don't want to invade the United States or Canada or anything like that. That's just a, too much time, a, too much time cost for me. That wouldn't be very. I don't think that'd be very much fun to watch. Let's see. We still have more destroyers. Holy crap! Uh, anything here? No. I think this is still pretty good. I don't have enough. Oh, well, I guess I have enough chromium now. Huh? Oh, screw it. Why not? Go to the Greater London area as well. A lot of these things that need to be replaced, taken out on June 15th. If I get to them, I get to them. If not, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to lose this area here. I can't believe I can't undo that yet. Hopefully the Soviets will push further into... Wait, what? Soviet expansion in Europe. Since the rise to power of the SKP, the Red Finns have been working towards close relations. What the barnacles happened? As a few days ago, the Finnish government officially submitted control of the country to the Soviet Union. I liberated you! You were my own! Soviets. Now, this is a, a contention for war now. I, I treated you as if you were my own. You were the chosen one. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. You're so lucky. I saved you, but you. this is how you treat me. This is how you treat me. How dare you? You submit to the communists of their isle? Sir, no, no, no. This is unacceptable. Also, I do want to give some time for everyone to heal up. Also, by the way, for Germany, I really, really wanted to have like three Germanys. So we have Austria here. Austrian Soviet Republic. I wanted to have a southern Germany uh, just so that they're very Catholic, especially during this time, I think, during, you know, the 30s and 40s even below and especially before that the Catholics are very traditional and they don't want you know someone who's communist down here I mean yeah there was a Bavarian social socialist Spartacus Republic revolt in 1919 but still I wanted to have you know three Germany so that they could control southern Germany strong enough so that I don't really have to do very much about them and then have like you know this regular Germany over here with Prussia and then have another Germany all divided up so we could have like a four-way Germany if you include Austria I would have loved 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 that but right now our soldiers are on the line ready to invade the Soviet Union just in case something goes south they are allied with the Romanians the Mexicans the Xinjiang Chinese and the Mongolians but we've known that about that for a while I'm surprised the Mexicans haven't given up yet very surprised, actually. And, of course, this gives everyone a little bit more time to prepare themselves for Operation Unthinkable. Yeah, we might title it that. Anyone's done with 
ships yet? No? Okay. Uh, anyone in our shipping areas? Uh, let's see. You all. Let's see. These are old. Oh, these are crappy old this subs. Hmm, let's maybe improve some of our subs as well. Wait, you have nothing on here? What's the point of being a submarine if you got nothing on there? Yeah, you actually have to have some sort of upgrades, man. Please tell me upgrade the right one. I think I did. Oh, yeah, you'll get better everything, pretty much. Uh, let's see, how about you guys? Same for y'all. Holy crap, that was pathetic. No wonder we weren't killing anything <laughs> when I was using them. They were all garbage. Uh, anything here? Anything here? Oh, actually, carriers. Oh, I have five. Oh, that's, that's a little too many. Five carriers is a little bit too much. Uh, do that. Select you. Send you down here, and we'll send you to this one. That'll be fine. Uh, since we're here... Wait, 57. Ah, yes. These guys are training. Does anyone need better things? No? No? Just in case we miss something. We would have a little bit of time before people need to repair. Nope, that looks pretty good. Subs are we're fitting. Well, once I'm done with them here, convoys get all the way down. There's so many subs I need to get re refitted. Cool, very cool. Oh, and any other ships that can be uh, done? Oh, well, we're almost done with that S destroyer. Anything else up here? Yep, same day. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, oh, improved infantry equipment. Very nice. 1944. Let's go to 1940. Let's go to 1944. Let's see down here. We should have you as well. 1944 destroyers. This heavy ship is almost done. That's awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, when we attack the Soviets... We could use better stuff, probably. So on June 30th, we got to remind ourselves that we have a new heavy ship hull that we can use. Good, and these things are repairing, so that's good. Upgrading, refitting, whatever you call it. We got a lot of decisions we can take, which basically means let's spread our version of communism everywhere else and equality and egalitarianism and all sorts of good, fun words to say. Makes you sound more like an intellectual when you say them. Uh, ship holes. You know, honestly, this is one of the few games where I've not actually finished my naval doctrine yet. I mean, the game's not over yet, but it's just kind of interesting to think about. Mm. Mm. Coffee. You know what? I only drink the better coffee when I'm playing with you guys. Just because it, the coffee I have, it's like, what was it, from South America? South Jamaica or something? I can't remember, but it's good stuff. It's good stuff, and playing with you guys, just it, it's worth breaking it when playing with you guys. I have, I have some other coffee, but, you know, it's alright. It's alright. It's not spectacular. Uh, let's see. By the way, since we're here, uh, since the Soviets are distracted, oh my gosh, look at all this. Oh, that's no good. Let's divide him up a little bit better. There you go. Uh, can we add any more good planes? Oh my gosh, there's so much garbage here. Spitfires. That's good. We got a little reserve of those guys. Uh, but for regular planes that we could personally use, it's not looking that great. Eh. Get some regular close air support. Speed the time up maybe a little bit. Add them here. Excuse me. And they should be... There we go. And you know what? We could probably increase the air base size here. Do that here. We are trying to build nuclear reactors. Totally fine with me. It's not quite the 30th yet. Not quite yet. Anything else new? Interesting carriers? No, no thank you. And... Voila, we have it. Awesome. 1940s, one of this stuff. That's good. Heavy ships. Awesome. Awesome. So March 10th. Or actually, no. It's July 16th for the next destroyer. That could be replaced. That's good. It's good to know. Oh, looks like the Soviets are adding a lot of more soldiers to the line, but something tells me Romania is not really ready for such operations. And actually, yeah, let's actually add some stuff up here, too. We're going to definitely need that. Awesome. What's a Soviet uh, 
Navy like that's actually a pretty good navy. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. It's a lot of it's a lot of navy. Let's see. They who is winning here? I can't really tell. The Chinese are really lacking right now. I mean, we're not, obviously not gonna fight them. We're gonna fight the commentator, and that's it. I'm not fighting the United States, man. That's for another generation's work to do, because we got to make sure that we all firmly believe in what we believe and have a good time doing so. Let's see, 90.95, that's actually pretty good after we're losing some uh, political power to boosting ideology in Palestine. You know what? I would have really loved, and I know I can never monetize this video. I can't monetize any of my videos if I ever want to. What the heck? Hungry proclaims greater hungry? Come on, man. But I would love to see if I could make Israel communist. Now, that's crazy. Well, maybe not too crazy, but I think that'd be really, really cool. Ooh, better gun batteries. Oh my goodness, I should have done that earlier. No. Oh wait, dual-purpose dual secondary batteries are actually extremely good. Or, not extremely good, but they're very, very good. Very good. Hungry. Bal oh, Balkan Socialist Union. Actually, you know what, Hungry? I'm okay with that. Balkan Socialist Union. Yes, please. That's an awesome name. Despite you only owning a little part of the Balkans. And now we can go to the the, the small war uh, for uh, th this this group over here. Wow, actually, since the Comintern is at war with the Americans and the American Union, they are not doing very well at all against the Japanese and Qing China and India. India, what is your manpower like? You should be pretty good right now. They have marginalized Muslim communities still. Indian gentlemen officers. Princely states. Huh. Qing China. Low legitimacy. Well, that's pretty normal. Empire of Japan. How are you doing? A lot of manpower. On. All adults serve. Soviet Union is probably not looking that swell. And this would be a good time to make sure that our version of communism is the best. Wow, I did not see this earlier. Before we declare war, though, let's take a look at world tension and whatnot. Hmm. Always good to clean your mouth out with water. Uh, let's see. The Soviets have lost a million against American Union, which has lost quite a few guys. Wow. United States, that's a lot of guys lost. Oh, you lost a lot to the Mexicans. Wow. Don't ever invade Mex Mexico, United States. Soviet-Lithuanian War. They've lost 3.29 million against Meta Moors, which is actually fairly comparable. Wow. China's lost quite a few, though. And then we have the Guatemalan-Soviet War. The axe, the axe is still alive. Guatemala and Venezuela, huh? That's different, since we have two countries down here, but we don't have the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. Well then, it's treason then. Well, there really ain't much for us to do. I mean, sure, eventually, Germany, Germany. Uh, William Pick, Peak. What are you doing with befriending Japan? What are you... What is this? You shouldn't be befriending Japan. Um... Well then, whatever. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna tell this guy. Just be careful. Just be careful. Uh, my tanks are located where? Oh, they're located down here so I can help cut off a few soldiers immediately. Oh, man. The only hesitation I have right now is when we go to war, which is fine, I don't really care if we go to war or not, is be because Poland hasn't really just been annexed by the Soviets, when the Soviets are dead, I will have to give a lot of territory back to the Polish. I'm not inclined to do that. We're going to might have an immediate war afterwards, but we'll see, of course, what happens. Uh, for fuel, for oil, alright, so let's, before we go to war... Let's go ahead and make sure that our navy is actually good and secured. So you guys are all training, which you can go ahead and stop. I want the British patrols to go and patrol this area. Uh, the strike force, which is looking pretty good, pretty good. Okay, maybe not that great, but you know, it's better than nothing. I want you. Not here. Anything you see in the Norwegian coast. That might be better. And then subs. This is. Uh, let's see. For submarines, you're not going to do strike force. You're going to do convoy raiding. And then you're going to do that. Oh crap! Hold on. We got. We got everyone mixed up here. 
Oh, you're actually refitting. That's fine. Um, well, they're going to need supplies, so they can do it here. You can do it here. And you can do the Barents Sea. This will completely cover any imports or exports they're going to have. And the British patrols, the regular patrols that were training, which doesn't need to train anymore, can go ahead and kind of defend themselves. Uh, do that. Wow, a lot of these ships are not here. There you go. Uh, are you guys repairing? No, you you need more ships here. Um. Oh wait, what are you guys doing? Let's go ahead and merge together. Twenty-four ships. Oh, we have two battleships here too. Awesome. Uh, as the war starts, I will go ahead and delineate some of these guys out. With this in mind, I'm actually going to send this fleet to Gibraltar. And I want them not to do this, but I want them to come down here. I want them to do that. All right, cool. These guys are set to go. We, as well, are set to go. And the might of the world will wait after I do the submarine stuff. Uh, submarine stuff. Really, we've got to focus more on the infantry side of things. Uh, that's not ready yet. Recon companies, here we go, boys and girls. I hope you're ready for... a God dang it, what the hell are we doing? Goodbye. Alright, now we can go to war. Call all of our allies in, whether they like it or not. Pause the game, because the game might crash if it's this laggy. I really doubt it. But still, they do have Romania as a puppet. They don't have Mongolia as a puppet. They have an, as an ally. Alright. The game is lagging very, very hard right now. Please. Please. I know we've got like a billion allies. Like, I literally have so many allies. Look at all these allies. It's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, well, if you're not communist, can you ever imagine how many allies you wouldn't have? Alright, so I told my guys to be pretty careful. I want you to go straight down here. Give them these guys a little bit extra push. And circle all these soldiers. That would be great. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty good. Now we will see how fast the Soviets shall collapse. Oh, they're actually attacking us back. And Mongolia's been called into the war, whatever. Uh, we're not fighting Romania yet. Actually, I want to go to war with Romania immediately because they don't have that many soldiers stationed around here. And, okay, it's not too laggy. People will go to war with them eventually. I don't care about Xinjiang yet or the Mexican Soviet Republic. Those are a waste of time. American Union. Cool. Oh, wait. Hold on. We gotta actually add these guys to the war. Up. Oh, I think that they already did. Awesome. Um, excuse me. We lost a plane. We have sunk a Soviet convoy. Alright. Very good. Oh, we lost a plane. Another Soviet convoy. Uh, make sure we aren't trading with too much with our own people around here. It's fine with me. Hopefully we can just go straight down this line. And we've got a lot of soldiers here, so I'm not too concerned. God dang it. Already? Already you have to reform the line because you missed an area down here. Seriously. Just go ahead, since you're still pretty good to go. Tanks, doing a great job, doing a great job. With the entry of Operation Unthinkable. And honestly, this was an extremely fast Cold War between the Communist Brethren. It was coming down to this. It was going to happen. And the longer I waited, the faster the Japanese would have a say in the peace conference. And, you know, with most of the might of Africa with us, as well as a good portion of... Well, a very small portion, of actually, of the Middle East. And a massive portion of the former fighting forces in Europe. I mean, almost all of Europe is with us. And making sure that our communism is known as the best communism. Uh, you know what? I want to send my tanks this way to help beat those guys up, but there's so few divisions. You know what? Tell the tanks to go ahead. And actually, you know what? Probably tell them to go to there. Give the tanks some time to get their planning ready. This game is becoming very incredibly laggy. And it gives us time for our soldiers, actually, for our infantry to get up here. Katowice. Go ahead and put them out of their 
Soviet misery. Encircled, demoralized, dismayed. I love it. Oh, we have Krakow. Very good. Very, very good. I can't imagine what the peace conference is going to look like at the end of this. It's going to look terrible. Especially with an independent Poland. Which probably won't be very independent for very long. This is the fastest or shortest Cold War I've ever seen in any of my games. Uh, oh, and Romanian People's Republic is gone. That's what I thought. What? Oh my god. Look at all this. Look at these divisions. It's not a massive encirclement, but it's a very, very interesting one, to say the least. Go ahead and make sure they cannot reconnect to their supply lines. Uh, yeah, I think the Soviets like this. Yeah, yeah. The Soviets like getting killed. Uh, I mean, just. They've lost hundreds of thousands of men already. Millions of men, actually. Uh, where are my tanks? Alright, you're good enough. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, just one division over there. Oh, my goodness. Brest off. That's a lot of divisions down there. That actually is a ton of divisions. I want to make sure that the tanks are good and centered. Yes, I have a couple of guys that are not really ready to do very much. That looks good. Uh, did I tell you to go? No. Well, if you can, go ahead. If you can't, whatever. Good, we are close. Oh, that's that's a lot of divisions. 13 divisions is not bad. Not bad at all. Push them in a little further in, a little further in. Make sure they cannot escape. And once this pocket is closed, once a lot of this stuff is taken out, I will reform the front line, of course. And then, then after that, we will end the episode. Awesome. Ah, Romanian People's Republic never lived very long. And that's okay with me. The friend Japan, well, you better not join them. Ah, yes. Triumphant will. Very good. Jaeger, Jaeger not program. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, yes. Uh, Empire of Japan, we'd hate you, but we will accept you. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Uh, that's actually not really good, so I'm going to actually send you back. Because to get over here, to get... This, for the Soviets to get supplies, actually, I'll do that too. I will make sure that these previous areas cannot have supplies sent through them so that Soviets cannot get through here. Instead of doing this because they probably have planes and I can bomb the hell out of our guys, bomb the hell out of our subs. Hmm. Awesome! Very good. Ah, uh, come on, go ahead and take these guys out so we can reform the front line. As we watch the Soviet brethren collapse. Ah, special air service. Ah, yes, I love the special air service. The communist British version of it. Awesome, here we go. Reform the front line. Now it is truly a front line. We will probably go past the Urals if we can. And then tanks are doing a great job. I'm not sure what they're doing. Really, really not sure. Uh, seriously, what the hell are you guys doing? Hmm... We'll send them over here or something. I don't know. Whatever. We'll make sure that they go crazy. And we will end the episode. I did a lot of talking this episode, guys. I'm sure you probably didn't like it that much. But we've made some gains into Eastern Europe. We have also... How many people have we actually killed already? Uh, let's see. Actually, what about you? You're 20 width. That's good. Come over here. Uh, we've killed... Holy freaking crap. That's a lot of casualties already. Now, the United States have done has done quite a bit. We've already taken out 1.4 million Soviets by ourselves. Wow. While only losing 91,000 of our own soldiers. With that in mind, though, guys, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow uh, as we further take out the Soviets. And I'm going to make sure I actually give some territory back to some of our allies to make sure that they understand their place in the world. Thanks for watching, guys.